going to be business as usual. It's going to be different. Are we together? Yes. Because you know, for a very long time in Kenya, Kenya has been said to be a country of great potential, which it is. But we have failed to unlock that potential, not because the citizens don't want, but because the leaders have not done their part. Many a times, listen, many times we know what is right, but sometimes it's not politically convenient to do it. So we escape doing what is right and going for what is politically right. I want to tell you, I am going to do what is right. As to whether it is convenient politically, as to whether it is popular, that is secondary to me. We must do the right thing so that we can take our country to its rightful place. All of us here, we agree that Kenya is a great place. That I believe with the whole of my heart. And I believe we can change Kenya in our lifetime. While we are here, all of us, Kenya can be that country that everybody wants to call home. And that is what we are going to do. So to you who are here today, I am very proud to be in your midst. I am very proud to be a Kenyan. And I believe together we can change this country. And so, I know there are so many things that I would have wanted to say, but I will reduce it to three things. <laughs> Number one, my mission is to achieve three things, simply. Number one is to unite our country. To unite them. You know, we went to the polls. We had a competition. We were told there is something called deep state. We were told there is something called system. But the people of Kenya decided. And because we, the people of Kenya have decided, we have no option but today to work together as leaders from the different formations, as Kenyans, from all the communities, as people from different uh, faiths, knowing all of us that we are one people, belonging to one nation, and having one destiny. That we must do. And it is the reason why you find us here in this meeting, not as Kenya, Kenya Kwanza or Azimio, we are here as Kenyans. <laughs> and we have come to represent our country. Today, we work together. We work together as leaders. Be Kenyan, you know, to make sure that we have a country that we are proud of. And I'm going to do three things that is in our, um, in our manifesto. Number one, we're going to make sure that we invest appropriately and correctly in agriculture. When I came into office, when I came into office, I said we are not going to subsidize consumption. We are going to invest in production. The price of unga a year and a half ago was 220. Today, it is 100 shillings because we invested correctly. We are continue to invest in that space in making sure that our dairy, 
horticulture, our agriculture in general, has the necessary support to make sure that we enhance our production. Let me give you an example. We spend 500 billion every year to import food items into Kenya. We import maize, wheat, edible oil, rice, and all manner of things. And I have made the decision that we are going to invest in production. By next year, we will not be importing a grain of maize. We will move on to rice. We will move on to wheat. And in five years, the one billion dollars we use to import edible oil, I want to make sure that sunflower, soya, canola, palm oil are all grown in Kenya and we don't have to import again. Already last year, we've started a journey on soya and sunflower. We are on course on canola. We've already gotten the seeds. And it is going to help us as a country reduce the foreign exchange that we use to import food when we can actually produce that food in Kenya. Tonight.